In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective route combo that I think you're going to need to master in Madden 23 to be very effective. This is going to be very good um, against heavy blitzers. It's also going to be really good against max coverage next year. And the reason why I think this is going to be so good is because of the fact that it allows you quick reads on multiple sides of the field to be able to attack the defense. Now, I think the meta in Madden 23 is going to be five to six man pressures pretty much every single play, especially if you're playing somebody good. So you need to be prepared in terms of how to block them, but you also need to be prepared in how to dot them. And I think it's just a better strategy, at least right now, to teach you guys how to dot blitzes versus how to pick them up. The reason being is because pass protection will change year over year. In Madden 22, the primary way you're gonna pick up most blitzes is blocking your tight end or using a play action pass. In Madden 23, I believe the primary way you're gonna be picking up pressures is by blocking the running back and IDing the opposite side corner to get your line to shift um, to the wide side. So uh, with that being said, I wanna show you how to dot the blitz. And we're just gonna use the probably the best blitz in Madden um, 22, at least one of the better blitzes, uh, the five man Mike Blitz three. And we're gonna show you how to dot a blitz properly out of the play flood now i think flood is a really important play in madden 23 um because the game the way the game plays you're not going to be able to just sit in the pocket all day long and dot people you even if you do pick up the blitz you're going to get shedded and so i wanted to give you just a concept um from bunch i think bunch is going to be the best offense day one we're gonna we're actually uh working right now on our washington bunch offensive ebook um i've already got a lot of stuff in our patreon on the washington playbook so if you want to learn kind of the precursor to madden 23 i would encourage you to join our patreon today you'll get access to the whole ebook and then you'll also be able to get access as soon as our madden 23 bunch ebook is live which i'm anticipating within two weeks um or within a, within the first couple days of the game launching uh to be able to launch our washington bunch as long as not too much has changed since the beta so the player we're gonna be talking about is flood today and um, you really want uh, good spacing for this concept because you need to be able, again, to beat the blitz. It's so stinking important this year to be able to beat the blitz. So uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you kind of the meta way that people are going to blitz you. And it's basically this. So in Madden 23, I think you're going to see something very similar. Um, one minor difference might be this. You might get something that looks like this. Um this is a really good version of this as well. And if you just look at the play art on both of those uh, plays, you're gonna notice that really the, the areas that you wanna attack is you wanna high-low them over here on the right side in the flat so that they have to double flat. And then over here on the left side, you really wanna attack the seams essentially. So we're gonna be able to do that with this concept. And the way we're gonna be able to do this is we're just simply going to wheel the running back and we're gonna hitch our circle receiver. Now, at the stab of the ball, if they're in a hard flat, they're gonna really suck down like heavily to go guard that running back. And so what that's going to leave is it's going to leave this quick in route uh, here open on the left. So you see here, he's kind of cutting inside. You can aggressive catch that relatively easily. Now, typically speaking, if somebody sees, like let's say that they're sending this pressure at you and they see that you're gonna hit them on the right, they're almost always going to go guard. Um, they're almost always going to go guard the running back, um, and then they're going to basically leave this guy in a cloud. Okay, something like this, or you know, they might do, you know, a hard flat here, and they might go guard this guy. Okay, just to kind of imitate where the user is going to go. So what you want to do with flood, and this is what makes the hitch on flood so good. You could do this as well. This is another. Um, this is another really good version of the setup. So either wheel or out route running back. You just want him to go to the flats uh, on the left side so that it pulls the zones and gives you space to be able to hit Mike Evans. But what you're going to see here on this right side of the screen is a really effective concept for the blitz. And that's, we're just gonna look to the right and you see that this hitch is gonna hold this vert hook in so we can throw this flat route to the tight end and truck up field to be able to get, you know, one or two yards. And then this is gonna create a, basically a game uh, between the, the, de the defense and your uh, quarterback and your ability to read them. So if, they hard, um, if they're gonna hard flat here, you see there, see how I can throw that and kind of get up field and get about seven yards? That's really effective. And then the other thing that I can do um, against the pressure is this. 
So again, you see here we're getting, you know, the users getting down into the into the box. So now they're going to have to hard flat to take away the tight end route. Okay. So what that's going to leave open is it's going to leave open the quick out to RB right there. So as you can see, that is open, and I can easily you know throw that read. So you're getting this high low kind of feature, if you will, on your plays, and you know maybe they go to something like this. It's a really good way to try to bag these high low reads, um, at least in my opinion. And then basically what they're going to do is if the running back goes on a route, they're going to go guard the running back. This is a match concept. And what you're going to see that is open is now our flat is going to be covered, but our hitch is going to be wide open. And this is the same for a cover three. So out of a cover three or cover four shell, if they send five, they really don't have the ability to bag this concept. So here's your cover three. And what you'll see out of this cover three is your hitch should always be open right there real quick. And we're dotting the blitz and we're going. If they run to the right side, let's say that they are in a cover three blitz, and let's say they're gonna run to the hitch, okay? If they wanna do that, if they wanna do something like that, well now you have a wheel or a, or a quick out to the left side. So if they're not hard flatting, you can easily just take that, make a quick spin move or a quick you know juke in Madden 23 and be able to get up field relatively quickly. So this is really, really important to be able to dot the blitz. I really think that you, in my opinion, I actually really believe that if you can learn how to dot the blitz, it's better in the long run um, for your offense, okay? Um, it, you don't wanna have to block the blitz. You don't have to like spend a lot of resources blocking the blitz. You wanna be able to dot it. Now there are certain blitzes and there's certain defenses that it is helpful to just pick up the pressure and then dot it. But I just wanted to kind of, you know, put that in your ear because I think a lot of people in Madden, their first instinct is we just gotta block the blitz. Um, but in Madden 23, that's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult to block the blitz. It's also going to be difficult to sit in the pocket and throw 50 yard crossers down the field every play. It's just, it just is. So anyways, here's um, this against man. This is why I like the out route because the out route oftentimes will be able to beat man to man. Um, another variation of flood that I really, really like against the blitz is this option route. Um, so I like to put a smoke and an option concept. Uh, to beat the blitz and what this does a really good job of is let's say that it's zone and this is going to give you basically double hitches so if they go to the right you throw left if they go left you throw right but what you'll see here is if there's no yellow zone that is a snap throw right out right out of the gate and then the beauty of the option route is if it is a man-to-man -man concept so let's say that let's say that um you know they're playing man-to-man -man coverage on the running back then what you're going to notice with this option route is it's just going to quickly get man-to-man -man separation as long as he doesn't get bumped like that which is a lot better you're just going to low ball it right on the cut it's pretty effective to beat man so that's kind of the the, the real beauty of this play and, and and anytime you're trying to beat the five man pressure um even especially if you're trying to beat the six man so let's say they do a six man this is a going to be a very popular way to play um this is like a four three even style of, of blitz it's not necessarily the, the actual pressure itself but this is basically what you know they're gonna do is, is basically this this is a six man variation and then they're gonna basically be in the middle of the field what makes this flood play so good is it's so hard to guard the middle of the field um when you have two routes that are in opposite kind of going in opposite directions so you could just do something like this and you're just snow throwing that right as he gets out of the out of the line of scrimmage if they run to the left side you basically have a massive numbers advantage uh to the right side which i'll show you real quick so again here um, now they can't put a vertical hook even in a tampa two look and if they're in a cover three look it might look something like this this is a very difficult look to to blitz out of it's, even in madden 20 this was in Madden 20, this is a little bit more effective, but you know they're going to do something like this. They're going to have soft squats, or they're going to have something like this with their user in the middle of the field. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be one of the most effective defenses, whether it be from 3-3-5 wide, 4-3, even 6-1, big nickel for G, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be the core concept is still the same. So anyways, what you're going to see here is if they go to that side, though, now I can throw that, and just quickly dotting the blitz, moving the ball up the field quickly is going to be really, really important in Madden 23. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you want to learn more about the bunch offense and how to run it in Madden 23, make sure you join our Patreon, study our Madden 22 version of the Washington Bunch, and I think it's going to really help prepare you. And if you join today, you're going to be able to gain access to the Washington ebook in Madden 23 as soon as it's dropped. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.